team, welcome to episode 30 of Raising Havana. Today we did some work in the kitchen, we inadvertently added a new element to our nose work training, and we practiced some boundary training with some really interesting results. So the weather outside today is shockingly bad. And so Havana is having a day off from walk. So we've been keeping her entertained with some enrichment toys and also a little bit of training. Now, what I wanted to do with Havana today, nose work wise, was start teaching her to do a little search in the kitchen because a lot of our kitchen stuff has either involved just some basic indication work or has involved using one of the towels and hiding the hide on there. So what I wanted to do is just put a hideout in one of the corners of the kitchen and then just let her in to find it. What I didn't realise is that we've never played the game of her going out of the room, me hiding something and then me letting her back in in this context. So she came in, didn't see a towel obviously and went, what? So she turned to look at me, she was sitting for a little bit, then she went into a down and you could see the cogs in her brain turning. Now I could have stepped in and just helped her, but I want her to start thinking a little bit more independently. So she thought and she thought and she thought and then, hey Preston, so she went and she sourced the coin, which was fantastic. From there, we practiced a few little things and a few variations. The next time I popped the coin a bit further in the corner, she came in, searched the room a little bit, worked it, couldn't quite figure out where it is, so she went off camera a little bit. Then she comes back in, uses that gorgeous nose of hers and sources it beautifully. And her indication now, as we'll see in a little bit, is gaining a lot of really nice duration, which is fab. So I'm able to count up to about three seconds, which for her is amazing. At this stage, I don't need any longer than three seconds from her. So the fact that we're there is golden and really, really cool. Then I decided to mix it up even more and I decided to open a cupboard and put the hide in the cupboard. Now we've never done this type of training before either, we've not used any open cupboards. And so when she came in and went straight over to the area to start sourcing it, I was so impressed with her. Because that change in variation, that change in kind of height and that change in environment can really throw some dogs. And in fact it did throw Havana, which we'll talk about in a second. But she went and she sourced it and you'll see in the video, although not very well because I think it's mainly her bum, she does a perfect freeze and again because that hide is a little bit more elevated that indication could have fallen apart a little bit and we could have had to do specific work but actually it didn't she sourced it beautifully and she indicated beautifully the final little search we did was me putting the coin on the washing machine as it was going around now this one she did struggle with she wasn't quite sure how to source that coin. She wasn't quite sure where it was going. She was checking, she was sniffing cupboards, she was sniffing up high, she was sniffing down low, but she just hadn't made the association because she could search the washing machine. Now you'll notice what I do here is I let her think about it for a bit. And then when it turns out that I don't think she's gonna find it, as opposed to me just going and pointing out where it is, I go and I flick an area near it. And that's a really important thing for her to learn is that with that physical cue, I don't want her to think I'm gonna point her directly towards where it is. I'm gonna do some more physical cue work maybe tomorrow with her too but what I wanted her to understand is that that flick means it might be in the area I don't know you're gonna have to actively search for it and that she did so she tried to do a little freezing with her big nose she knocked it off bless her but overall she went and sourced it so we really varied some stuff up from her today not necessarily difficult things but those small variations can be difficult without a lot of preparation and I'm very pleased that we did prepare even if it was inadvertently doing other types of training to get her to that level then we practice some boundary work and I wanted to add in a few more elements of distraction with this today as well. So what I decided to do was I would put the mat down by the door and I decided to practice opening the back door, opening cupboards, moving around, things like that, just to see if it would spook her and kind of get her to leave the area. And actually it didn't, she stayed firmly on that boundary 90% of the time, which was really, really good. So you'll see that I go back and I reward her, I'm not talking to her a lot, I'm just trying to go about my day, because the end result of this boundary training should theoretically be that let's say I'm making dinner and I want her to stay on her boundary, if I'm opening cupboards and moving food around and stuff, that doesn't mean she can break it. I then decided to add in, be a little bit of a tease and add in her own food, which she did struggle with. You'll see she kind of got up and then went back down and then got up and then went back down. But as we progressed forwards and as we progressed on, I was actually able to pop the little pot of food that we were using down on the floor and she didn't break, which is fantastic progress for a Labrador that's as foodie as Havana.
So there we go team, we're coming up to 31 days of this daily Havana challenge and I am loving it. I'm going to do a wrap up tomorrow talking about how far she has come and how much progress she has made. If you have enjoyed this episode, please drop a comment and a like. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to hear Aggie making more growly noises as she yawns and see more of Havana's daily adventures. And you can find me on social media at Jack Fenton Dash, the Dorset Dog Trainer. Thank you very much for watching team. I'll chat with you again soon. Bye.